So we've talked about the early days and a little bit about the internet of today. I'd like to conclude with some of the challenges that lie ahead. We all must work to protect the internet as we know it today. As leaders here in this room and to all of those participating remotely, we have a responsibility to do everything possible to make sure that people everywhere reap the economic and social benefits of the network. One of our greatest challenges is getting all people connected, specifically the four and a half billion people around the world who aren't currently on the internet. For many of them, internet access has been prohibitively expensive, if it has been available at all. While this is improving through smartphones and other technologies, there is still a long way to go. There's no telling what'll happen if we actually empower the creativity of those four and a half billion people. And I think that point was made quite clearly earlier today by Jimmy and Leonard. We all need to redouble our efforts to get all countries, all people online on a par. And through our efforts, big and small, we can all make an impact. For example, the Internet Society recently completed a study quantifying the advantages developing countries get by establishing internet exchange points. The study looked at how Nigeria and Kenya, two countries in sub-Saharan Africa that do a very good job with their own IXPs, had lowered their cost and increased their network speeds. Our hope is that when we share this study with other developing countries, it will convince them to make the same investments and adopt similar practices. This is an excellent example of how the efforts of a very small group of people, and compared to the seven billion people on the planet, can actually rise to have national and global impact. So the internet continues to inspire, amaze, and challenge us every day. But the job is not done in one of the ways that matters the most. I'm taking another quote from an internet history retrospective written by Vince Cerf, Bob Kahn, Leonard Kleinrock, and a number of other internet pioneers. Quote, if the internet stumbles, it will not be because we lack for technology, vision, or motivation. It will be because we cannot set a direction and march collectively into the future. This is even more true today than it was then. We have all worked hard to create a free, open, and accessible internet, one that is not walled, not censured, not fractured, and we have to keep on working. Given the challenges of today and those coming, we must be vigilant in defending the internet's principles and continue to support the multi-stakeholder model and the institutions that have so clearly contributed to its growth to date. We all have a stake in preserving the internet, preserving our internet. This should be our global call to action. So thank you for listening. We have a great two days of programs and speakers covering many of the issues that are so foundational to ensuring an open global internet. And I hope we all have a fantastic conference. Thank you.